Welcome to the media chat room where the celebrity headlines are talked. Y'all know we love jumping on trending headlines, so here's another one for y'all to check out. Now y'all, a few days ago, Cat Williams stopped over the club shit and he had the headlines busting because he went in on every black mainstream comedian. Specifically, Steve Harvey, Kevin Hart, Seth the Entertainer, Ricky Smiley, just to name a few. Now throughout the interview, he talked about these guys being gatekeepers in Hollywood who are nothing but liars and thieves because they lie about a lot of the journey that it took them to get through the business and they steal other comedians joke now y'all we took out the highlights of the interview and put it into another video so y'all make sure y'all go and check it out before publishing our video the club shay shay interview with cat williams was at almost 8 million views and now two days later that video is up to 24 million views so yeah you can definitely say that this video has gone viral being a trending interview in the culture because cat williams appeared to be very real and raw throughout the interview but now cat williams realness may be up for Question. because Corey Holcomb is now calling Cat Williams out for stealing a joke of JB Smooth. Now y'all know we definitely going to get into it and I'm going to show y'all all the videos. But before I do, I need y'all to go ahead, like and share this video with everyone that you know so that you can show the algorithm how much you love our channel. Then click the subscribe button so that you can come an official chatty patty lover and I promise you're going to love it. And last but not least, go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video. Now let's get back to Cat Williams. One of the things that he heavily focused on throughout the interview was comedians stealing other comedians jokes specifically said the entertainer stealing a joke from him and steve harvey stealing a joke from mark curry radio up so loud that you couldn't hear the damn thing when it cut off it looked like this you flossing in a six shift convertible We be in a space shuttle, nigga, like this a 72. Dude, nigga, we ain't get that. Y'all know the only time we turn our music down is when we got a parallel part. That's the only time we got to concentrate, nigga. We Soon we get in, we turn our shit back up. Halloween was a trip. Halloween, we couldn't afford no Halloween costumes. Hey, kids, please. Mama sent us down to the liquor store and put boxes on us. We didn't know what we were. I don't know what we are. I don't know. She didn't tell us. I think we UPS, I guess. I don't know. Every Halloween, I had the same outfit on. Every year. I just had a brown box. I wasn't nothing sad. I just not asked my father, could I have a new outfit? And he said, no, just wear the same one. And it was just a brown box. And he just told me to tell everybody I was a UPS man. So y'all, those are the jokes in question. And now, days later, Corey Holcomb, another comedian, is accusing Cat Williams of stealing jokes from J.B. Smooth. Now, in this particular joke, 
JB Smooth is coming to the stage to a particular beat. He says that basically anybody can do anything to this beat. Now you won't be able to hear the actual beat because of copyright issues. However, just focus on the joke and the movement throughout the joke as if he was rocking to the beat. Kick, kick it in, man. Kick, kick it in. Walking. <laughs> can walk to that shit. A crippled man could walk to that shit. Kick that bitch again. for your food stamps to the beat of that mother Now here's Cat Williams from one of his specials, American Hustler, where he comes out to Every Damn Hustling by Rick Ross and says that it's his favorite anthem and anybody who hustles. However, it doesn't matter what occupation you're in, anytime the song comes on, it's a bop. Mr. DJ, that's my song too. That's, play, play the song again yeah, for no reason. Let me So that's our national anthem right there. Even if your job don't even require no hustling. Even if you a librarian. Just play that shit in the library. See how that feel. You just in the library. Just Turn it off, sir. Don't play it again. I'm just saying that's the shit. I'm saying if you went to heaven and they was playing that song, you know it's finna be a party in heaven. You just walk in heaven. You Stop it, sir. Don't play it again, I said. I'm just saying that's my shit. I'm just saying if you went to the grocery store and they was playing that song, you buy everything in that bitch. You know you ain't got but $78, you just in that ball. Stop, sir, I said. Fuck, I'm playing again. Just saying that's my shit. Just saying, fellas, if your relationship ain't working right, stop fucking the woman to slow songs. Some gangsters. Just soon as she walk in, just every day. She could be like this. I gotta go to work in the morning. Sir, I asked you not to play the song again, didn't I? Just saying, that's my shit. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying, if you worked at McDonald's, you was working a drive-thru and somebody came through and ordered a number seven and you was the only one working in that 
Even then, just put that on the PA system. You just every day. Now, it's definitely a lot of similarities in this joke. Now, in case you can't pick up what I'm putting down and need to see the whole entire videos and autographs the full concept, I'm going to leave the link to all the videos in the description box, so make sure you check it out. Now, y'all know Corey Holcomb is very vocal, and so he letting everybody know, just like Cat Williams was exposing people, he going to expose. Because Cat Williams was very vocal when he said that these people usually go into the local comedy club, steal the jokes of unknown comedians, and then take them on stage, which is what it appears that Cat Williams could have done. And it's very crazy because Cat Williams was very critical of Seth the Entertainer and letting us know that he does not write his joke. And in fact, one of the things that set him apart from all the guys that he mentioned is the fact that he is a writer who not only writes his jokes but produces his sets, funds his shows, and manages his tour. But should Cat Williams get a pass because Cedric the Entertainer did tell us that this is very common in the comedy industry where people see the jokes of others but take it and enhance it to make it their own. Do you feel that uh, someone else has stolen some of your material? Oh, that, that's a part of this business. Right. Like, you know, sometimes it's intentional and sometimes it's not. Sometimes people will hear a joke or, or take a, a slice of your material and make it their thing, right? But the, the origin of the joke came from you. That is not an uncustomary thing. Right. Now, everybody knows that comedians, you know, your job is to write original material. Right. Your, your job is to have original point of view. Now, Chatty Patties, it's time to hop in those comments. Let me know if you think those jokes are just similar or if Cat Williams actually stole that joke from J.B. Smooth. And what do y'all think about Corey Holcomb actually putting the information out there about Cat Williams being a thief? Is it him keeping it real like Cat Williams or is he actually being the head? And if y'all think that Cat Williams actually stole the joke, does that make him a hypocrite? And do you now question all the truths and sprinkle sprinkles that he left in that interview with Club Shay Shay? Definitely leave me y'all thoughts and opinions on this. And before you go, make sure that you like and share this video with everyone that you know. Also, subscribe to the channel to become an official Chatty Patty lover. And I promise you're gonna love it here. And last but not least, turn on your notification bell so that you know when I drop the next video. Now, Chatty Patty, y'all already know first things first. I'm going to hop in those comments to see what y'all had to say. Then it's back to me scrubbing the headlines so that I can put out the next video now that's gonna be all for now so until next time bye bye